TV and MUTV. I was wondering, does Angelo still live in the wardrobe? No, no, we finally got him out. He's got his own room now. It must have been yeah. terrible because, like, you know, there wasn't much space, was there? No, especially bedtime. You know, a duvet, a couple of pillows in there. Yeah, here's Evian. <laughs> Today, tapioca Carol. pudding. Tapio tapioca pudding. With raisins. I hate raisins. I even hate raisins worse. Do you have to put the raisins in? I have mm. to put the raisins in. The raisins yeah. are what in. What are you doing? We're starting. Come on, we're starting. Oh. Ready? Right. Now. Yes, that means it's a time for another week's exciting viewing in the next half hour, right here from EMU TV. <laughs> It's on with the programmes here at EMU TV, and now it's time for our very own soap opera. We do all the right programmes here on EMU TV, don't we, viewers? And this is our very own, as I said, made here in our studios. It's just like Sons and Daughters, and it's much better, because it stars our president, EMU. And you can see the next episode right now. This programme has been pre-recorded. <laughs> Having escaped the aliens, Croc, Grovel, Rod and Emu have crept back in an effort to rescue Grot Hags. Watch on. Master, the Goppets have failed to capture the Earthlings. By the power of Grey Grovel, that makes me very angry. <laughs> the Goppets will be angry too, Master. They are gathering for the ceremony. They expect to see an Earthling thrown into the bottomless pit. You mean you've not... Captured that streaky bonehead rod or that little eamy weemy? She means the earth bird. You rat! <laughs> Very clever, yes. <laughs> Very clever indeed. <laughs> what is? You <laughs> pretending to be one of us. Mm -hmm. Pretending? When all the time you were gaining time so that your friends could escape. <laughs> so, you shall take their place, yes. Master at arms, yes, master. tell the Guppets they shall have their ceremony after all. And take her to the bottomless pit. You can't do that, I'm a I'm the bestest witch in the whole wide world. Get off! Help me! Keep your hands That was very personal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Down there! It's that big hole! It must be the pitiless pot! I mean, the bottomless potty! Oh, I mean the pitiless bottom! The bottomless pit! Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, I think you're right. It looks like it. Here, yeah, look. There's all those goppets down there. They're all singing and dancing. Must be some sort of party going yes. on. Here! Shh! Listen! Shut up! Quiet! Quick! Hey! Look! It, it's them there coming back! And they got Mrs. Globbags. Oh. Gobbits, you have served your master well. Antipathy is proud of you. And as a reward, this earthling is yours. Yours to throw into the bottomless pit. <laughs> now, walk. What, me? But I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, please. Oh, no, no please, Mrs. Grubbags. We're get coming to hell. Down, get oh, down. Oh, now see us and we'll all get thrown in. Oh, well, we've got to do something, haven't we? Oh, Look. Oh, I'm there. It's me, my double. Silver Grub. Oh.
I'd, yes, I'd go sir. down and help him, you know, but I've got a bad leg. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, <busted. laughs> oh, oh, come on, quick, yes. Oh. oh, well done, Mr. Yes. Roger, and you little emu. Wow. Well, <laughs> It was all thanks to Super Croc. Oh, wasn't that marvellous? <laughs> so, it looks like it's all ended, but there's still another week to go. So watch next week for the last episode of The Temple of Gloom. Now, a very special report from EMU TV viewers. This is where you can really help your police. Recently, there have been a number of burglaries all over the neighborhood, and police have taken the precaution of issuing a picture of a man that they want to interview. We here at EMU TV actually have that picture, and this is what the criminal looks like. Can you see that? If you see this man walking around your neighbourhood, you must contact the police immediately because he's a wanted man. Just have a look at this. Look. Look at these eyes. Steely eyes up there. A grim jaw. A firm mouth. All the marks of a criminal. A successful criminal. A clever criminal. Except that this one was not quite so clever on his last job because he went away from the house without discovering these. These were hidden under a floorboard of the last house that he burgled, and he completely overlooked these beautiful jewels worth several million dollars. But as I said, this is a clever criminal, and no doubt he's looking at this very program as I'm broadcasting to you. As I'm broadcasting to you, because he's the kind of person who... He's a kind of... Just a minute, viewers. I know you're in there. I'm, I'm going to find my way in there. I shan't be a minute, viewers. I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. Come on out, in there. I know where you are. Hey, get it. Where did he go? Hey! Hello? Where are you? Don't you touch those! Excuse me! You mustn't touch those! You have to get out of here! Oi! And now, EMU TV proudly presents Take Ten.
stop it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And now, what, what are we going to do? Oh, yes, it's time for our, our high drama series called High Court. <laughs> Right. You ready, counsel? Yes, my lord. Uh, proceed. Thank you, my lord. To begin with, uh, I'd like to refer to the celebrated case of Schabig versus Herzog, oh. which contravenes that the statute number B-56... Just a minute. B-56. B-56. Right. Thank you. ...is sufficient without further adherence, and it clearly states in paragraphs 8 and 10... Just a minute. N10. N10. Take it to be N10. N10. Yes. N10. yes. Carry on. Thank you. That without the subsection known as G79. Ah. G79. G79. Located right here on this paper. And I, for one. Ah. Be I41. I41. Yeah. Believe that no person under the age of, oh, 21. Oh, 21. Oh, 20. Oh, bingo! 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 bingo. 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 Wir spielen nun ein klassisches Stück. Es handelt sich um eine Melodie aus einer berühmten Oper. This is my team, Sarah. Who have we got today? Well, today we've got Rachel Tag, age nine. Rachel, age nine. We've got Nicholas Deacon, age ten. N Nicholas, age ten. And we've got Tracy Scrobatch, age ten, also. And, and she had a osteoarthritis accident with a half a block, with a half a mower on her hair. It's very nice, it is, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. And where are they from? They're all from Ripley Red Turn around Cross there. Juniors. Ripley Red Cross Juniors. Oh, and well, what are you going to? What's that you got there? That's for you. It's a oh, look, they've given me a badge. For the Ripley Red Cross have given us a badge. And what else? A car. A little car, a little ambulance. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much. And what are you going to do if you win the money? I'm going to turn to disabled children's holidays. That's a very nice thing. I hope we nice win. very nice thing to do, but so, they're not going to be able to do it. Move aside. Oh, look out. Come along, yeah. Team. Yeah. Who are these brats? Come along. The Streetly Red Cross U from Stony Hall in the West Midlands. Yes. With Daniel Fisher, who's ten. Yes. Natalie Heward, who's nine. Yes. And Emma Roger, who's eleven. Right. And what are you going to do when you win this competition? Spend the money on hand um, holidays for handicapped children. Holidays for handicapped children. That's very, very good. And you are going to win, aren't you? Yes. Hey, go and get ready then on the starting post. Come along. Come along, put this pot. Are you ready? We've got Tracy first. Who have you got? 
Daniel. Daniel's right. first on Stand my team. By. Let battle commence. Daddy, good luck. Go. Well, it seemed our little lucky charms really did bring us luck, didn't it, eh? Our Ripley Red Cross badge, which I've got there, and our little ambulance. We'll take this back to the pink windmill with us, OK? And here's your cheque for your lovely, worthwhile calls. Face your camera over there and give everybody a good wave. And we'll be right back, well, next week, in fact, on the Emu Challenge! <laughs> Yes, uh, e <clears throat> and in the weekend's Emu Lotto Draw, Mr. and Mrs. Arnold Zickler have drawn number 10035 for a prize of $350. Mrs. Alvinia Bottom has drawn number 47823 for a prize of $350,000. And the schoolboys of Rexdale Elementary School have drawn a big cat with a long tail and whiskers and colored it in with crayons. <laughs> won't be long now. Uh, well, right now, for our first guest, we'd like to welcome someone who's making a sensation in the part of Maria in the revival of West Side Story. So, will you please welcome a beautiful young singing star, Miss Alison Reed. <laughs> Can you hurry up and get out of there? We're on act short. 